Heat and humidity sports nutrition specialists say it's really important to stay hydrated right now. But can you eat your water? Whoa. Never heard of that. <laughs> Joining us now to answer the question is medical reporter Liz Bonus. Hi, Liz. Hey, guys. Good afternoon to you. In some cases, it appears you can, according to the American Council on Exercise. Foods like these are not a substitute for drinking water, but you can get some of your daily fluid needs from food. No surprise, the top foods that give you fluid tend to be fruits and vegetables. If you eat a balanced diet, you can get up to about three cups of water a day from food. The most hydrating foods, according to the American Council on Exercise, include peaches, grapes, citrus fruits, all types of melon, strawberries, cucumbers, tomatoes, green beans. And we also caught up with the University of Cincinnati sports nutritionist at the Body Project in Walnut Hills to ask how much water we should actually drink each day in addition for proper hydration. Definitely people don't hydrate enough. Um, I, you know, I know there's a lot of myths out there like I need to drink a gallon of water a day and that's just certainly not true for everybody. Um, there definitely are larger um, collegiate athletes that need a full gallon of water every day. Um, but in general, if, if individuals just focus on making sure they get 8 to 16 uh, ounces of water every couple hours, um, so that looks like pretty much your standard water bottle that you can buy at any regular store, um, but making sure that you're getting one of those every couple hours with meals, um, but again, in between meals as well. So if you get about three or four of those a day, you should be hitting your hydration goals. Okay, so I always got to bring you something of hydrating. Of course, I was nervous when she <laughs> yeah, does. I know, I know, I know. So have you seen this before? Do you know no. what it is? This no. is what it looks it like looks before It looks to me like cut. a baked potato that has cheese in it. That's why I wanted you to see it. Almost like a bunch of yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know, I know. Can so I, yeah. yeah, so if you open it, I, want, I brought you each a spoon because it's so liquidy. It's one of these really high water foods. I wanted to see if you tasted okay. it, what you would guess that it might be. Yeah, it's now, just really yes, weird. This there, is strange. It is, I'm not going to lie. You it, go for it. It's <laughs> strange. It tastes uh, a little sweet. Okay. It tastes um, crunchy. You can eat the seeds. Okay. What do you think? Should and I try okay it? It's okay to be really What's honest. It's unique taste. Yeah, yeah, unique is unique. a good way to describe it. It's really it. juicy, though. Look yes. at all and that. And so that's the point, that if you eat these, these are foods that naturally have water in them. <laughs> I don't love it, <laughs> but I don't hate okay. it. Okay, so this is what they call a purple passion fruit. Oh, and interesting. Yeah, the outside is the purple color, okay. and the inside has kind of these seeds, and if you open them up, sometimes they're real full, and they're, they're uh, I hate to say it, but they're almost a little gooey to people. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is. Yeah, yeah. And that's what makes it so liquidy. It looks but like fish eyeballs. Yeah, it yes. does. That's actually <laughs> true. Yeah, and they're just seeds like you would get, but they're edible seeds, okay. and like you'd get in a melon or something like that, and they're loaded with nutrition. I mean, that is so concentrated right now. You're going to just feel all zippy all the rest of the day. Yeah, I need that. I'm a little tired. <laughs> but the idea behind it is the color, the purple on the the outside, the orange on the inside, the green in the seeds, and that brings you all that goodness, but it's also very, very high in fluid. And again, it's called the Purple Passion Fruit. It's called the fruit. Purple Passion Fruit. It's about, uh, I got one for a couple bucks at Whole Foods. You can get them at uh, Finley Market, places okay. like that when they're in season. Interesting. All right? I love to have you guys try new I things. I do too. Why not? I know. Thanks for trying it. Thank you. you.